Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. I'm here with the British and Commonwealth Super Middleweight Champion, Mark Heffron. He has had 29 wins, two defeats, one draw, 23 knockouts. Um, yeah, glad to get you on the channel. Yeah, thanks for having me on, mate. Always good getting you on, mate. And my my yeah. first question is, how did you first get into boxing? How did I get into boxing? Um, well, my dad used to box, and uh, all my older brothers used to box. So I just pretty much just followed, um, obviously, my brothers. Like, yeah, and, um, that's how I got into it, yeah. Yes. And since then, wait, so you had, did you have an amateur career, mate? I did, yeah. I had, I had a good amateur, amateur career. Um, I had about probably about between 75 and 80 fights as an amateur. Um, well, I won loads of as a, as a junior. Got to the CYP. I won the CYP. I won the boys' clubs. Um, I, was, I got to senior base semi-finals. Like, I, won, I won loads of tournaments as an amateur. Yeah, and um, I, I turned professional at about, I think about, just turned 18 year old I was. So and you you've had uh, over I think it's thirty two fights you've had. Um, that's right, yeah. And um, more to come, hopefully. Definitely, mate. That's the plan, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, some big fights in twenty twenty three now. Well, you've had some big fights in your career so far, so hopefully, maybe w would you have a trilogy fight with Denzel Bentley? Would I? Yeah, of course I would. Yeah, hundred percent, but. Denzel's at middleweight now and I'm up at super middleweight, aren't I? Oh, so you're the weight above? Yeah, that's right. Oh, because he fought for a world title, didn't he? That's right, yeah. He did, um, he did really well as well, didn't he? He did, yeah. You're not far off from this world title picture. Oh, that's it, man. I just got to keep winning now and uh, keep working hard and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get there. Yeah. Do you know what month that you could be fighting? I'm lucky to be out now, probably February, March time, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So there's so what what should we talk about your fight with um what fight should we talk about your debut first? My debut. Yeah, how was a long time feel, ago. How did you feel going into your debut? I can't really remember it. Um Obviously, I would have been really nervous, wouldn't I? But, um, yeah, it was, it was years ago, wasn't it? No, uh, it was in it. it my, my debut was, it was it, I think it was in Holland or Poland. Uh, it was, it was like, he's in a tent outside. That, that, yeah, it was, was um, that weird it was because it was in a tent? Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it was a, it was a good experience to, to get out of get out Manchester and fight. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah. And you got that debut out the way. Which is the main yeah. thing. What yeah. fight do you think you've performed your best in so far? Um, fun on the British, the British, and the Commonwealth in the IBF, yeah, but against Lennox Clark, yeah. Lennox Clark, yeah. I, personally, I think you're just another level to him. He was moaning about the stoppage, but I yeah. think if the ref didn't step in, it could have got a lot worse. Definitely, I've, I, I was in there. And I, I, I felt him like. I felt him like getting a lot more, getting a lot weaker in there, and um, I felt that like I was coming on strong. And uh, I just, yeah, like when I was in there, I, I was I was one shot away from knocking knocking Lennox Clark out. And uh, obviously the referee was in there, and he he could see that himself as well, and that's why he jumped in. Yeah, and um, yeah. To be fair, I agree with you. That was a a good performance from you, and um, yeah. I'm sure you were very happy that you um won the British and Commonwealth title because I think. Am I right in saying you came up short for the British against Denver? Yeah, it was my third attempt, third time lucky. <laughs> so I'm sure you were very happy when you finally got your hands on those titles. I was, I was, you know. Well, since turning professional, uh, the, the British title, uh, from being young, like, you know, the, all, the, all the champions win the, the, that British title, it's, it's a nice belt and uh, it's a belt that I've always wanted to, that I've, like, I've always wanted to win and obviously... That was my third time, and uh, I finally got the win, and uh, I got my hands on the British title. Yeah. Didn't he have the British and Commonwealth Championships? Yeah, he did. Yeah, and then uh, obviously we fought the the IBF in the Continental was on the line as well. Oh, so you've got three titles. Yeah, I won three titles in that fight. Yeah. Oh, even better, mate. Yeah. 
what, what title do you like prefer to hold? Out of what out, 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 out the, out the titles or just like the British level ones? No, like what's your favourite one out of your titles? The ones that I've got that I've got now, yeah. Yeah. The British title, I love that. I love that British. Yeah. I'm British, sure you. It's, it's a good belt, yeah. But obviously, I love the Commonwealth. I love the Commonwealth. I love the IBF, and I've got the WBC as well, Anna. Even better, mate. You're winning. So I like them all. I like all the titles. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's mm -hmm. class, mate. Are you promoted by Frank Warren? I am, yeah. I've been with Frank now about about five or six years or something now. I've been with Frank a long time, yeah. He's a thing with Frank, mate. He's always, he's always been there for us and he's, he's um, he never let us down. So whenever whenever I've had a loss, he's always he always brung me back. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I've got uh, my, my manager as well, Kevin Marie. He's always been there for us as well, mate. He's, he he's, was he's keeping pretty, you busy he's right. after the bed. He is, he is, yeah. After the Bentley defeat, um, even though like the pandemic must have slowed it down, he got you back yeah. um on track, didn't he? With two good wins, he did. third round, mate. I, I thought going into that Lennox fight, you could have knocked him in out in the third round because um you were in a two fight winning streak with the third round. But of course, yeah, yeah. that's right, mate. Yeah, yeah. So, who's your trainer, like, and how long have you been with your trainer? Well, my trainer now is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm back with Joe Gallagher. Um, I, was, I, I, I turned professional with Joe about 12 years ago, and uh, I had my first two or three fights with Joe. And then, um, I, I, obviously, at the time when I was fighting back then, my brother Ronnie was fighting, and obviously, he was anti final gym. So, obviously, I, I, like, I just wanted to be at the same gym as uh, my brother Ronnie, so... I left. I left um, Joe, my trainer Joe for for no reason. It's young, young and stupid, as they say. Um, but yeah, I really, that was like one of my biggest regrets leaving Joe Gallagher as a as a like a term professional. Then, but um, obviously, I got reunited with him, and then uh, obviously got on to win these titles now. And uh, hopefully, plenty more to come. Yeah. So, so um. Isn't Natasha Jonas and um, Paul Butler also in your gym? And Marcus Morrison, isn't he? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So do you, like, spar Marcus Morrison? Because he's, like... I have done, yeah. I have wife. sparred Marcus a few times. Me and Marcus used to be at the same amateur gym as, as a kid. So obviously we spar him with kids as well. And then uh, when I turned professional with Joe at, at the start, uh, we used to spar then. And um, I did a lot of sparring with Marcus for the Denzel Bentley fight when Marcus boxed Denzel. Um, yeah. Oh, so were you like telling? Because when you drew, when you drew to uh, Bentley, personally, I thought you nicked it. Same here, mate. But it's, it's life, isn't it? You just gotta uh, move on with it. But um, it's was a good it, fight. Was uh, it weird fighting with nobody there? Um, do you know what? Don't. The only thing that was different was the ring entrance. Once you're in that ring, you you're in the zone. Do you know what I mean? Like, and um, you just sw you switch off from the crowd anyway. Do you know what I mean? And because uh, some yeah, fighters that I've interviewed say they can't hear anything in the ring because they're just so focused. There you go, mate. That's it. Yeah, you just focus and you just got your 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 mind set on your opponent. That's the point. Yeah, throwing punches back at you. So you know you don't want to start thinking about the crowd when you got shots coming at you. So. You just gotta stay switched on and just forget about the crowd and yeah, just uh, listen to my corner. Yeah, but um, but that your rematch with Bentley, um, your eye was like swelling just up. Low on edge. So. Obviously, I got caught. I got caught with a good shot. It hit me on the eyeball, and then uh, there's nothing that my um, in the corner. Then uh, was uh, Kevin Marie, my manager, was doing the um, the cuts and. Stuff and uh, he said it's one of the worst eyes he's ever seen. So you, normally, when he puts a metal thing on your eye, he pushes it, he can push it out normally. And obviously, my eye was pushing, my, my eye was pushing against the thing that, and he just couldn't get it down. He tried his best, and uh, could, could you see anything um, out of that eye? No, could he? Yeah. So when Denny, so when Denzel was throwing out every every time, uh, once the eye went, uh, every time Denzel threw a right hand, I couldn't see the right hand coming. So no matter what, no matter when he threw the right, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't see it coming. It just kept landing. It just got worse. It just got too bad, and then uh. So that was a good call from your corner. I thought. Definitely was, mate. 
like me as a fighter, yeah, I I I'd keep I'd, I'd keep going and go and try and not keep going, but when you get injured and then, and then obviously if something bad would happen to me, then I wouldn't be able, I, I wouldn't be British and come world champion now. Do you know what I mean? If if, if McConnell then. So we did it for the best of you, and now you've Definitely. came back stronger, mate. So back stronger, yeah, that's right. What about your foot? Um, was it hard when you fought Liam Williams? Of course, you got yeah. stopped, unfortunately. Yeah. How did that feel, like losing for the first time? I've been asked this question a few times. At the time, like obviously, I was bothered, but mate, like I. I I got straight back in the gym. I had like a week or two. I had that Christmas. I had Christmas off, and then I just got straight back in the gym. Just not didn't let it bother me. I got straight back in the gym, and obviously my manager, my being Kevin, got me straight back out. And I was I boxed in my hometown. All of them did a, did a shit load of tickets there, and then um, I just got straight back on it. Forgot about the loss. Put the, the loss behind me, and I got straight back to winning ways. Yeah. Also, oh, so we did. So we, when you made your return fight against Serge and Bomba, yeah. um, was that not like were you not was it that hard to like get back? Was it hard to get back in the gym after the defeat? Not at all, mate. Not at all. I was just, I was young and I just had good people around me at the time, and just, just, I just I just listened to them and just put put the loss behind you, and then um, what I did, and then it got straight back to winning ways. And once you get once you get that first win back. You, forget, you you totally forget about the loss, do you know what I mean? And you're back to winning ways and then you know, all, all the ways up in it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And and you did come back very well. And then uh, yeah. after 2019, you had a big opportunity, which is good. What yeah. about uh, when right. you beat Andrew Robinson? That was a good win for me. Um, that's when I won the WBC international title. Uh, so was uh, that your I, first Andrew title? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, Andrew, um, at the time he'd been he'd been in with some good kids. I don't and I don't think he'd been. I don't think he'd, I'm not sure. I don't think he'd been stopped. And obviously, I got him out of there. Um, yeah. So what, would, what would what's been the fight that you've enjoyed like fighting the most? Uh, when I won the titles, the British titles. You know what I mean when I was. Because uh, obviously, they, they, I, I know personally that they was overlooking me, Lennox and his team. Because he beat. I feel, really I feel like they was overlooking me. Because I think that Lennox beat. Yeah, that he really. beat. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. yeah. He, he obviously, what I'm saying, really. he was coming off a. Good, yeah, that's right. He was coming off a good win against Willie Hutchison, and uh, I just feel like he overlooked me. And obviously, me and my team knew if I got that fight with Lennox Clark, I was going to win that fight. Do you know what I mean? And, uh, we managed to get the fight, and I got in there and did the business. I, I knew you were going to win as soon as it was announced. I thought, I thought, I thought you would have stopped him maybe a bit later, seven eight. But I yeah, knew yeah, you yeah. Would have brought him out of there from the very first round. I had him all over the place, and uh, obviously my corner said for me to calm down because we've got another twelve rounds of this. If, if it goes a distance, and uh, obviously I could, each round, like I caught every time, every time I landed on on Lennox, his, his legs went. Do you know what I mean, like? No, so you knew after her. the first round that you were gonna get him out of there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I just knew I knew once I landed clean properly, I'd get him out of there. But um, he like yeah, take gotta take your hat off to him. Do you know what I mean? He, he tried to stick in there and he, he give it he give it his best. Yeah. Yeah. What about um your well kind of because you fought um on the Joe Joyce undercard that was in Manchester and you fought Martin yeah. uh I can't pronounce his his squid. Something sorry, I don't know his name, yeah. but um, he was yeah. 10 and 6. Was that just like a tick over fight, like staying busy? It pretty much yeah, just get me straight back out, and then I was supposed to. Oh, I was, I was looking to get out in December time, but I had, a, I had a few little niggles I had to get right, which I've got managed to get right now. Um, and that, that, that yeah, that opponent, like uh, if, you, if you look on his box rec, he's uh, he's pretty much some really good lads, like unbeaten lads and stuff, and he's he's, he's had real close, real close fights with these lads. and Dead close, like close fights and stuff, and so I fought me first. I thought, yeah, it was, I think it was an eight round I was doing, or six or eight round. I think it was eight, but you, yeah. Eight, yeah well, I, I, I thought if, if I was gonna get him out of there, I thought it was gonna be later rounds. I would, I didn't think I was gonna get him out of there straight away because I didn't go in there looking for the knockout. But um, obviously, as soon as I landed, his legs went and uh, his jump turn and got him out of there. Like you don't get paid for overtime, do you? Yeah, mate. So, so we is your eyes on um. 
the European title was the Kevin Sadjo, isn't it? Kevin Sadjo. Uh, well, well, my team, my team, Kevin, stuff, they have mentioned that to me. Um, so it's, it's, it's a good fight for me. Uh, I think I could beat him. But um, yeah, wh whatever. Like, I, like, I just want to keep moving forward now. Do you know what I mean, I want, I want more titles. So what, whatever my team puts to me, if it's the right fight for me, then yeah, yeah, I'm up for it, yeah. Because um, Jack Cullen as well, I think he's from yeah. uh, Manchester as well. He Maybe yeah. it could be an old Manchester. Well, you're from Oldham, it's pretty close to Manchester. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Jack, Jack's from Bolton, isn't he? Oh, Bolton. Bolton, yeah, he's from Bolton. But that'd be a good fight, you v Cullen, but I reckon... It would be. I reckon um, that you would stop him because you've... You, you hit very hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack's a good fighter, though. Uh, we used to be at the same gym, uh, Michael Jennings' gym. Uh, done a lot of sparring with Jack. There's some good sparring, so I know, I know, I know how Jack fights. I know, I know what he's all about. Uh, but it would be, it would be a good fight, yeah. Do you ever get nervous before you fight? Of course I do. Every every fighter gets nervous. If if they tell you if they tell you any different, they're lying. Every fighter gets nervous, and uh. It's, uh, with nerves, you have to be able to control them. Uh, nerves can be like the, the worst nightmare. Do you know what I mean? And uh, but yeah, like, when I was younger, I used to struggle with nerves. But like now, as I'm getting more mature, and I've had uh, been in the ring like enough time now, uh, I know I know what to expect now. And uh, yeah, I, I, I can control them a lot better now. Yeah, has that Sajo fought since Jack Cullen? Do you know? Yes, I think he's had. I think he's had two fights, two two knockouts. Yeah. Oh, so he's he's doing well. Mm, he is, yeah. He's a good fighter. Maybe, maybe that's a fight. Um, in the new year, if you just keep piling in these wins, because you've got yeah. three titles, and I'm sure that because I think the Europeans, the step like before the world title. Yeah, of course. You never that's know, right, mate. Yeah. Next time we do one of these, like this time next year, you could have a world title on one shoulder, yeah. then one on the other shoulder, and one on your waist as well, mate. That'd be good, mate. That'd be good, yeah. So like I said, he's got to keep taking um, each fight as they come now, yeah, and just keep winning. Yes, mate, that's the spirit. And before I let you go, mate, my final question is, do you have any advice for someone who wants to be a boxer? Certainly, um, yeah, of course. It's obviously getting a good gym get, uh, and just, get, just keep your head down and keep working hard, yeah? Yes. And do you want to shout out your your manager, sponsors, or just anyone who's helped you so far? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for all my sponsors that have stuck with me, and obviously, I'm my manager Kevin Marie. You know what I mean, he's done a hell of a lot for me. He's, he's one of the best managers in boxing, if not the best. And obviously, my, my, my promoter Frank Warren, he's stuck with me as well. Yeah, they all know I'm thankful anyway. Yeah, and thank yeah. you for your time, Mark. It's been a pleasure. No worries. Thank you for having me on, mate. Anytime, mate. Thank you. Bye. No worries, champ. Bye-bye, mate.